flooring, sculpturing, decorating, arts and crafts, textile and felt processing, hunting, falconry, smith works and jewellery. We showcase our national identity in the Kazart program. Казахстан Республика с мемлекет Тупорталах Музеинде, Ильгаля Урс, Суречиса Николай Гаврилович Хлодов, Тамик Жезумбр. A well-known Russian artist Nikolai Gavrilovich Kludov's 211 compositions are kept at the Kazakh National Central Museum. And special hall works were the artist's creations at the museum. Here you can see over 40 compositions that have been drawn in different themes. Other works of artists are drawn with pencils as drawings and watercolor compositions are stored in our museum. Kludov's creations are divided into several groups. There are genre compositions, landscapes, a variety of etudes and sketches. Besides his works, you can see artists' personal belongings in this hall. At the end of the 19th century and beginning of the early 20th century, Kazakhstan became one of the popular places for scientists researching works. Different ethnographic expeditions came to the country in different times. As part of each expedition, a painter was among the staff. It is as a photographer of today. An artist should be present at the expedition. One of the expeditions was Nikolai Gavrilovich Khludov. Today, he is one of the famous artists in Kazakhstan. He was one of the first Russian painters who came to the Kazakh land, the territory of the nomads, and studied this region. Nikolai Gavrilovich Khludov was an active member of the Russian Imperial Geographic Organization. He arrived to our region in 1876 with members of the ethnographic expeditions. Kazakh land is wide with beautiful scenery, life and traditions of the local people. National features have impressed an artist who came from far away. Nikolai Khludov liked Kazakh land as he decided to connect the rest of his life in this country and stayed here. Before his visit to the Kazakh land, Khludov studied at the School of Painting and Sculpture in Odessa from 1973 to 1975. In 1987, Khludov, who taught at a workshop of one of the famous artists of Galinsky, in St. Petersburg, and then Kludov came to Kazakhstan. After arrival, he began his career as a map maker at the Zhitisu Regional Administration. An artist visited all parts of this region. During his visit, he drew the sketches, drawings, and paintings. He has drawn difficult paintings with various series in ethnographic, which was important for his work. Хлудов кезінде 1886 жылы геолог Игнатьевтың және ботаник In 1886, Hludov, as Eratosthenes, participated with the geologists Ignatov and Botanist Krasnov's expedition. He made acquaintance on this trip with Kazakhs, Uyghur, Jungan, Kyrgyz nation's lifestyle and drew them on the canvas. After his trip, he drew with oil paints what he had seen during the trip. This artist could show the lifestyle of our nations on his paintings. From the view of a professional artist, he was not able to say his works were high in professional level, but his works are information of that time, and that's why they are expensive. He showed moments of daily life, the local population, how they were, doing laundry, felting or making wool. 
An artist's creativity is expensive for us from this point of view. Nikolai Khludov lived till the end of his life in Kazakhstan and actively participated in Zhitisu scientific researching works, was a member of different scientific organizations. Also, he was a member of the Archaeology Lovers of Turkestan, the founder of the Russian Geographical Organization in Zhitisu, and this organization was a full member when they united with the Kazakhstan Researching Organization. В 1910 году Николай Гаврилович покидает службу и уходит, как мы бы сейчас сказали, в свободное плавание. Становится свободным художником и большую часть своего времени... In 1910, Николай Гаврилович left his work and became a freelance artist, we say in today's language. And most of his time he was devoted to painting. Since that moment, he made those iconic compositions that we have seen in different museums' collections, particularly in the Kazakh National Art Museum of Abil Khan Kastev. Nikolai Gavrilovich opened his art school in 1920. Our well-known painters as Kastev, Chuikov, Bortnikov and Uvim Sev completed this school of art. All these painters' works became the pride of our collection in the Kastev Museum. Перечисленных мною художников, учеников Хлудова на сегодняшний день тоже выставлены в залах музея Кастеева и являются гордостью нашей коллекции. Nikolai Khludov showed himself as a teacher and taught students before he opened his art school. When he worked as a map maker, he made his scientific works and taught the students. He taught the lesson of art and drawings at the specialized school in the city of Verny. Nikolai Gavrilovich Khludov left after not only Nikolai Gavrilovich Khludov left after himself not only great heritage compositions, but also the first Kazakh artist who received knowledge and were taught by him. Among the compositions we should mention about 100 paintings and 50 of them are pencil drawings, sketches and a large number of watercolors and he helped to produce an ethnographic album of the three regions. Kazakh publications wrote about Khludov as he is a singer of Jailao and appreciated his work in a high level. An artist had drawn approximately more than 90 works to the theme of regional ethnographics and showed the beautiful nature of the Ili Alatau and the local population's lifestyle, what left a great material for the future generation. Впервые приехав сюда в Казахстан, Николай Гаврилович, конечно же, был изумлён традиционным укладом жизни. When Nikolai Gavrilovich came for the first time to Kazakhstan, he was amazed with the traditional nomadic way, as he saw this for the first time. The singularity of national life, customs and traditions of the Kazakh people, and the daily life of the population. Everything what he saw he showed and drew on the canvases. He did not draw only portraits of people, also portraits of our landscapes, scenery of the beauty of Ili Alatau. Constantly he paid more attention to the domestic scenes. We can see on his canvases scenes of the daily nomadic life. They're not only Kazakhs, they were Uzbeks, Uyghur, Dungans and other nomadic people of our region. Today and in the future, Khludov's creations and compositions are very important for historians and ethnographers. We can consider an artist's compositions as information for researching Kazakh history and culture for scientists. Misal, tağı bir suret saltanatlı köş deyip. Saltanatlı köş kadınca Kazakh kıstaktan. For example, this composition is titled as Ceremony of Movement. Kazakhs had a ritual of movement with all villages when he moved from pastures to another one. He has drawn this moment very successfully. And the colors that were used were not correctly defined, but they are very valuable to us as documentary material. <laughs>
Если, конечно, сравнивать произведения Хлудова с профессиональными художниками казахстанскими, в частности, we can notice a difference if we compare Hludov's compositions with professional artists of Kazakhstan. Nikolai Gavrilovich was not a professional artist, he was a draughtsman. For example, if we talk about colors, he used a particular color. And most of the time he is drawn with a pure color which is not a sophisticated palette, but he drew every composition very successfully. Probably the role of his profession, of a land map maker, influenced him as he was accurate in calculation of every detail in his drawings. То есть точный глаз, да, точный расчет, и то, что он был чертежником, это тоже сыграло свою роль. There were different trends in the art world that replaced each other in the 19th to 20th centuries, and Kludov did not change his genre in the art and kept his realistic genre. All his paintings are full of a sense of realism. Одной из визитных карточек коллекции музея Костеева и нашей экспозиции, а также one of the magnificent compositions of our Kostyev Museum collection is Kludov's bright painting art composition inside of the felt house. What is behind me? We can see a fragment of daily life of the Kazakh people and family. Certain tradition of that moment has been drawn. We can see only a half part of the circle-sized yurt, and we saw only one part as it is dependent on geometric shapes. Даже обратите внимание, юрта, ну полукруглая, да, круглая в плане. Мы видим только одну створку полукруглую, и композиция подчинена, да, вот этой вот форме геометрической. Вписывается все в этот полукруглый. All family members are gathered around the circle cauldron in the middle of the yurt. An artist paid high attention to the household items and to the costumes of people that he drew here. Kludov is an artist ethnographer who was interested in different household items, national ornaments. Everything what he described in his work belonged only to him, which shows his singularity in the art and his paintings, and this can touch the inner feelings of an observer, because his works are full of sincerity. Все, что он описывал, он все это описывал в нюансах. Это для его творчества вполне характерно. There was an exhibition of paintings in Almaty in 1929. Kazakhstan Central Museum Council decided to take all compositions of the artist to their fund, and Ahmed by Turusian Uli was asked to search Kludo's work, Art Treasures, as an expert. Ahmed by Turusinov criticized his works, and he told, his picture is far from the Kazakh family features and habits. Here we see neither the Kazakh family, Kazakh nation, or our lifestyle. What we can see from his works is his portraits of what he has seen and the warm feelings also are noticed from the compositions. Хлудов был неравнодушен к пленерам. То есть он часто выходил на природу и рисовал ее с натуры. Хлудов often drew plain air in the outside. He often went to nature and drew it. He was in love with the Ilyalata mountains, which were often portrayed in his compositions. Kludov's works also continued their teacher's way and became one of the well-known artists of Kazakhstan. They held the same principles. For example, behind me you can see the composition of Bortnikov, who was a student of Kludov. He completed the art school that was opened by Kludov in the city of Verny in 1920. Kludov died in 1935. Bortnikov drew this composition in 1960. Brotnikov drew Hludov's portrait in his advanced age with full of life and energy. He showed his love not only to nature, for painting, people around us, and was delighted with not only rapid melody, noble appearance and a great mind, but also with the many-sidedness of nature and spirit as well, as commenting on the instability of our world. The painter, due to random nature, tried to create a sort of cosmic beauty and rhythm of life. And we see how Kludov draws in plain air this was described in the composition of Bortnikov. He describes a landscape, mountain landscape, and local people watching him around. There is a saying as, if a teacher will be known by everyone, then the student's work is advanced. An artist who graduated Kludov's art school achieved success as well. They received a higher education in the art field and distinguished with own signatures in Kazakh art. We can see Kludov's student, Bortnikov's work combination with a variety of a color palette. It shows the professional skills of the artist. Owing to his teacher, as Nikolai Kludov, 
he achieved a good result in art.